Welcome back this morning to our devotional time. We're in the book of Philippians, Paul's letter to the Philippian church, and we're at chapter 2 and verse 9 this morning. Let's read it. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. Okay, so this is part of a long stretch of verses here, and we're just taking one by one, day by day, so you really kind of need to read the whole passage. But notice what we have here. This is a therefore, so this is resting on what's happened in the first eight or so verses of this chapter. Because of what we just talked about yesterday morning, Jesus' death for you and I on the cross, God has highly exalted him. Who is more highly exalted than Jesus? Because Jesus was willing to die for you. Jesus was willing to give his righteous life to me in exchange for my unrighteous life, which which is given to him. And so he who knew no sin becomes our sacrifice, and he receives our guilt and punishment, the punishment that's due us. And so that's why you have verse 9. God has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every other name, because Jesus' name in the Bible stands for character, right? Jesus demonstrated the character of God in a humanity, a human flesh like our, like to our flesh. Jesus demonstrated that totally unselfish divine character. And it's, of course, in the same chapter, right? Verse 5, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. This this total exaltation of the Father, this total exaltation of the principle of goodness and selflessness, this can happen in your life and mine because of him, because of Jesus. And so the result of this is that the Father has highly exalted Jesus. God has given Jesus that name which is above every other name because Jesus showed the world what what God the Father is like, what what God the Holy Spirit is like, and of course, what, what God in the person of Jesus is like. And so it's a beautiful piece here. God has highly exalted him because he demonstrated by actual facts that he would give his life, God would selflessly give his life for a crew of awful sinners, rebels, to redeem them and transform us and bring us back. And that's pretty special. To, to understate the case completely. So God has highly exalted Jesus, and consequently you and I, in our day-by-day life, we should be highly exalting Jesus. If the Father highly exalts the name of Jesus, then you and I should be highly exalting the name of Jesus. Let's pray about that. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that Jesus was given a name above, above other names. The Father, you are exalted through Jesus, your Son, Please, Lord, help us in our, our lives, help our lives, help self to be put aside. May we be in Christ, not only as a legal form, but may we be in Christ in terms of the Spirit of God working through us so that we act out into this world the truth of the gospel, just as Jesus did. This is our prayer today, Lord, a simple prayer, but a profound prayer, and we ask for it in the name above all other names, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. May this God we're talking about, may he be with you and bless you this day.